Shalom. Kahalemla, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bahashem Rachakudash. Double honors unto the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Shalom, Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and the hearty Shalom, to the sincere brethren, doing the work in truth and sincerity, spread across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, Shalom. So uh, Esau Edom is setting the trap and the snare of universal basic income, uh, public assistance programs, you know, guaranteed income programs for Jake. You know, a lot of our people are going to bite in the bait. They're going to be, you know, uh, lured into the snare or the trap. And that trap is eventually them being pressured into taking the MOT to the B with pressure from above and pressure from below, you know putting our people in dire straits, snatching the rub from underneath their feet once he gets them dependent on the system. Lords, will this lesson's edifying and reaches the ears of the whole for the elect. Let's read this header of this article and we'll go into it. Chicagoans can apply for $500 a month for two years under Cook County Guaranteed Income Program. Universal basic income, basically. And this is the only city that's doing it. You also have Denver, Shreveport, Portland, Oregon, Durham, North Carolina, San Francisco, who originally introduced the first one, uh, Los Angeles, Georgia, Gainesville, Florida, and other cities doing the same thing, you know? And this is all a plan by the wicked elite, you know, to get everybody dependent, you know, on government programs, you know? So they can basically swap these government programs out with an implantable device, you know? that goes inside you, the karagma. Let's just get it real quick. Let's go to Isaiah 36. And it reads, <clears throat> Isaiah 36 and 6, and it reads, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed, Egypt, Montezarian, the modern day house of bondage, which we're still in to this day. You know, Baruch 3 and 8, we are yet this day in our captivity and subject to payments. Montezarian, is Egypt, you know, in the Hebrew, you know, house of bondage. And the modern day Egyptians would be the so called white men, you know, starting with their elite banking families who are behind this great reset, you know, and they use the World Economic Forum as the front men to be their spokespeople for the New World Order, you know, the UN, so on and so forth. Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, Babylon the Great. Wherein, if a man lean, it will go into his hand. And that's exactly what these programs are going to lead to. People putting something inside their hand. And what? And pierce it. You know, through Karax. They're going to put that Karagma inside you, which is designed to store grapho. You know, intelligence, records, your banking information, your health records. You know, your yo jabba jabba status, your social credit score, you know, your social media uh, score and profile, you know your travel status, whether you can travel or not, you know? And it's like it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him, you know? A broken reed, man, that's what you're trusting in, a broken system. Let's get Isaiah 30 real quick since we're talking on this. And I'll try to make this as quick as I can because I got to get back to the plantation. This is uh, Isaiah 31. Woe to the rebellious children. Woe means destruction. And our people are rebellious children. They don't want to. They don't want to seek you. How about Shimei Ashai? You know. They misuse the prophets. You know. They mock. They scoff. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord. How about Shimei Ashai? That take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And a lot of our people are going to take the covering of Babylon the Great, Esau, Edom's government assistance. You know his protection. You know, his uh, left-handed, you know, uh, form of salvation, you know, like the Elder Yashawamba uh, says constantly, his pseudo-salvation in the form of taking the MOT to the B. And they're promoting the miracles. They're promoting, you know, uh, the convenience. They're promoting it on TV. They're selling it, man. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's here. It's being pushed and soon to be mandated. 
Isaiah 36 and 2, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. And that's what exactly these uh, universal basic income and uh, government programs, government assistance, guaranteed income programs are. Des is they're designed to snare Jake, to get them to trust in the shadow of Egypt. That walk to go down to, into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. You know, may the strength of these wicked illuminated banksters be your shame, you know, because they're going to be cast down, you know, and put into slavery, man. And all those that trust in the shadow of Egypt and are joined unto them shall be thrust through. Thus says the scriptures, you know, Thus says the prophets, thus says the prophecies, man. You know, thus say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 36, uh, Isaiah 30 and 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Now let's go into this article. <clears throat> so Cook County Board President Tony Prickwinkle, and that's Tony right here, you know. Looking like a butch with a man name. You saw Edom's pet dog. You know, the nigga woman. Cook County Board President Tony Prickwinkle said the program is largely, is the largest publicly funded guaranteed income initiative in American history. Let's read a little bit of this. Chicago, a county program will give people $500 a month in cash assistance for two years and applications will open soon. And $500 isn't going to be nothing, man especially with hyperinflation and inflation coming into play before the dollar crashes, <laughs> it's not going to be anything, man, you know? But our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, and they're going to take this shit, man, and they're going to be snared, and they're going to have the rug pulled from underneath their feet. Let's actually, you know what? That's the spirit. Let's get a quick preset. Let's go to Genesis. Three. And it reads, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. You know, the beast of the field are the heathen nations, man. You know, and subtle means cunning, crafty. We'll go to the Hebrew, we'll just pull it out. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai had made and said unto the women, Yea, hath the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the green garden. And eventually, you know, Eve was coerced by the serpent, which is a serpentile man with a serpentile spirit. You know, Esau eat him in the flesh before he became the Edomites into basically eating of those philosophies, you know, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you know, and eventually Adam, you know, got coerced by Eve, you know, and then that's when death was introduced into the world. Now, if you go into this word for uh, subtle, that word, let's just pull it out in the Hebrew. And I'll try to make this as quick as I can because uh, i got to get back to the plantation. But um, this is way more important, of course. And that Hebrew word is Irawam. I, Ra, Wa, and then Ma. Irawam. Yep. Yep. Irawam. And it goes into cunning. Let's look up cunning. Cunning. Crafty. Having or showing skill in achieving one's ends by deceit or evasion. That's exactly what he's doing with his universal basic income, guaranteed income crap, man. You know, he's going to use deceit to fool the masses, man. You know, subtile, shrewd, crafty, sensible. Yep. see anything down here it's lucky <clears throat> that was the main point yep cunning which is basically deceit you know lies you know crafty lies you know subtile let's look up subtile it's all good let's skip that let's go to the article let's keep on reading let's see Let's get one more. Let's get Ciroc. Fourteen and seven. 
in the reeds and if he do it good he do it unwillingly and at the last he would declare his wickedness and that's what he's doing he's presenting you know um, these programs as if they're a good thing and you're going to have a lot of our people fall for it you know mass ain't that bad you know second corinthians 11 and 14 and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light you know shaitan you know the adversary the physical counterparts of the spiritual demon satan and where they present themselves as as a beacon of light as a beacon of trust you know they have help i got i got you man don't worry about it i got your back take this 500 dollars a month man you know see i'm not that bad right you know a lot of people are going to fall for this shit, man, you know, and eventually they're going to take the MLT to the B and they're going to be destroyed, you know, pursuant to Revelation 14, 9 through 10 and other precepts that go into those being destroyed for taking the MLT to the B, you know, Sirach, uh, the 28 chapters, one that comes to mind, the last few verses, you know, before the last two verses, you know, the death thereof is an uh, evil, I'll just get it real quick, you know. Sirach 28. <clears throat> yep. Sirach 28 and 21. And it reads, The death thereof is an evil death. The grave were better than it. It shall not have rule over them that fear Yahweh by Shem Yashai. The nuclear destruction, the ICBM missiles that are going to complement the nuclear destruction. Neither shall they be burnt with the flame thereof. Such as forsake the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai shall fall into it. That trap, that snare, that, you know, that bear trap. His lies, his deception. And it shall burn in them and not be quenched. It shall be sent upon them as a lion and devoured them as a leopard. And that's not what you want. You don't want none of that smoke. We don't want none of that smoke. That's why we do this work, you know. That's why we repented and turned to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And ultimately, we're going to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yashai in that day. Um, Isaiah 10 and 20. We'll read that next. Let's go into this article, though. <clears throat> Let's read a little more and then wrap on up. So, people can apply to the Cook County Promise Guaranteed Income Pilot. Never trust thy enemy. October 6th through the 21st, according to a news release, Cook County residents who are eligible can learn how to prepare the applications and sign up for updates online. The program will send monthly payments of $500 to 3,250 residents for two years. $500 ain't nothing. It ain't nothing right now. According to the county, payments are expected to begin, what? In December. Now, what did President Joe Biden do recently? He signed Executive Order 14067, the central bank digital currencies that are set to take place or to start rolling out this December, sometime afterward, December 13th. You know, that's all supposed to kick off, you know, allegedly, you know. And those are currencies that the government can shut off if they don't like how you act, you know, what you post online, you know. They can just turn it on and off, man you know and that's eventually going to lead to the mot to the b you know these central bank digital currencies all lead to rfid and nfc technology you know controlled by blockchain you know where they can track everything you know and these are snares that are being set right now guaranteed income programs universal basic income programs to get people to trust in the broken reed so they can snatch the rug from underneath their feet and you use pressure, uh, pressure from below, pressure from above to snare you, man. Let's keep on reading. The $42 investment, the $42 million investment, Slocket, is funded by the American, American Rescue Plan Act. There's no heel in Babylon, man. Get over it, you know. Sleepy, creepy Joe Biden and company, you're through. The Biden administration's measure to provide direct relief to citizens who face setbacks during the pan during the pandemic, you know, and that's what he's doing, you know, presenting himself as an angel of light, you know, as a beacon of help. I got your back, you know. I'm not that bad. Let's get a few more precepts and wrap on up. This is Isaiah 10 and 20. 
in the reeds. Let's get uh, Proverbs first. Proverbs 26. We'll go back to this one. Proverbs 26. And it reads, <clears throat> When he speaketh fair, believe him not. Never trust thy enemy. You know? Sirach 12 and 10. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. For there are seven abominations in his heart. And seven is the number of completion. You know? And the Hebrew word for all. Heart is la'ab, which is your mind. So there's a complete number of abominations in this man's mind, you know. Just look outside and what's going on in society. Look what California passed a few days ago. Taking kids away from their parents who don't want to have them, you know, um, get operations done. You know, people who are out of state, parents who are out of state, they can have their kids abducted by the state of California. You know, if that child wants to, you know, get an operation done to cut off their rod or to switch over their organs, man, which they're promoting, you know, like crazy. Look at the television, man, they're promoting it. You know, that new rainbow flag with the pink, uh, brown, you know, black, you know, and like the turquoise, that's, pr that's promoting, you know, the tranny movement and the pedophilia movement, man, you know, you know, pedestry, man, you know, through. Babylon is done, man. Proverbs 26 and 26, whose hatred is covered by deceit. That beast of the field, man, that was crafty and cunning, man. Esau, you know, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. And that's what's happening through the prophets, man. You know, we're uh, declaring this man's wickedness, man. You know, actually, that, that's another precept. This is a Job 20 and 27. And it reads, The heaven shall reveal his iniquity. The heavens is symbolic of the elect, the prophets, you know? Because we have the mysteries, you know? The breakdowns, you know? What's going on in his bedchambers? What he's really thinking, you know? We have the scoop, man, you know? And what are we doing? We're prophesying against this man. And what is happening also in the world? You have people exposing this man, calling him out, you know, cussing out the wicked elites, cussing out the, uh, the unroyal family, man. You know, his own people are telling him the man, you know. For the earth shall be filled uh, with the uh, knowledge of the glory of the Lord, you know. You know, also that, that reminds me of um, another precept, since we're talking about it, wisdom of Solomon. For the spirit of the Lord filleth the world, you know. Yeah, I think that's one and seven. Yeah, for the spirit of the Lord filleth the world. The Heavenly Father's, you know, um, the Heavenly Father's spirit on the prophets, man, who are prophesying against this man and his kingdom. And out of that, at, when that happens, that puts a vibration of truth, you know, throughout the whole planet. And you have a lot of people, you know, um, telling on this man, you know, his, his, uh, his uh, crimes are being washed up and unearthed, you know. History, his dirty history is starting to be uh, aired out, his dirty laundry, you know, his pedophile rings, his child sacrifice rings, you know, because the spirit of truth, you know, is overwhelming this whole earth, man, starting with the prophets. For the spirit of the Lord, Yehovah Shemiah Shai, filleth the world, and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. My sheep hear my voice, you know. You have an unction from the Holy One, therefore you know all things. Job 20 and 27, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity. The prophets and the earth shall rise up against them. And that's what we're starting to see. That's what we're starting to see happen. You know, the, the Persians, you know, they want their shit back. You know, the Elamites, they want their shit back. The, the Hamites, they want their shit back as far as the stuff, you know, you stole from them. You know, as far as the, the unroyal family, trillions of dollars of riches, man. And they're starting to be called out. You know, people are starting to realize people are starting to confess their hatred for you, you know. You know, that's uh, Obadiah 1 and 2, you know. Thou art greatly despised, you know. I'll just get it real quick since I'm quoting a whole bunch of precepts. Obadiah 1 and 2, and it reads, Behold, I made thee small among the heathen. If you go into that word small, it means insignificant, you know. Thou art greatly despised. And that's exactly what's happening, man. 
But back to this other point, so like I didn't mean to get carried away. Let's go to, um, let's get one more precept and then wrap on up. This is Psalms 91. Actually, you know what? I actually had um, Isaiah 10 and 20. Let's get that last. It's a perfect one to uh, close on out with. This is Psalms 91, and it reads, <clears throat> He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place of the Most High is this truth, you know, this gospel. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in Him will I trust. You know, the remnant is not going to stay upon the hand of him that smote them. We're not going to stay upon the broken reed. We're going to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, you know, and call upon his name, you know. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, his traps, his snares, his lies, his deception, and from the noise and pestilence, you know, the nuclear destruction. Now, let's go into this word snare. Yep. No, I think it's uh, Fowler. It's like it. We know what a snare is, but that word Fowler. Yep, and that word is Yakawash. Let's uh, let's fact check that. Let's fact check that. Yep, we got Yah. Is that a qua? Just want to make sure. Yakwa, Yakwa, yeah, Yakwa. Yakwa, not ka. Yakwa. Yakwa wash. Yakwa wash. Shalakia. Shalakia, shalakia. Yakwa wash. It's right here. Q. Yakwa wash. And it goes into fowler, trapper, bait, layer. Now, this is interesting, right? Let's go into this word. Um, yep. Uh. Yep. Entangled. A lot of our people are going to be entangled in that trap, in the net. You know, into a snare. Let's go into this word snare. A snare. A pitfall. A trap. A trap for catching birds or animals. You know? Let's go into this uh, Webster definition. Yep. To contravince often or consists of a noose for entangling birds or mammals. A trap again. Yep, something by which one is entangled, involved in difficulties, or impeded. Something deceptively attractive. And that's what he's going to do. That's what he's doing right now. He's presenting something deceptively attractive. Assistance, help, you know. That was it, though. That's, that's it, the point. That was the point right there. Let's go into this word, uh, bait layer. Bait layer. Let's look up bait real quick. Bait. Bait. Lure enticement. Food used for used to incite fish or other animals as prey. Let's go to the Webster definition. Yep. <clears throat> Slacky. <clears throat> bait yep to persecute or exasperate with unjust malicious or persistent attacks and that's what he's going to use to come after the prophets you know he's going to bait people into thinking that we're the wickedest thing ever when he's the wickedest thing ever you know let's see it's one I was looking at a little earlier when I looked up the term bait. Also, he's going to make people angry, you know, with criticism and insults towards the prophets. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good one right there. That's a good one right there. Slack here. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Also, something such as food used in luring, especially to hook or trap. <laughs> and that's what he's going to use uh, as well. You know, food is a weapon, man. You want to have access to food. You want to have access to the grid, society, your job. Well, 
you got to take this MOT to the B. And you're going to have a lot of our people be baited, you know, coerced, tricked, you know, into taking the MOT to the B with pressure from above and pressure from below, you know. Let's see if I can get anything right here. Let me see. Yep. A snare, a snarer, you know. And that's exactly what this man is, you know. So I just wanted to bring this out. Uh, Lord's with this is edifying and informative. And these programs are going to pop up all over the country. You know, once again, you know, actually, yeah, the Wadi Al-Bashim Rashai. Almost forgot the closing preset. This is Isaiah 10 and 20. And this is the mentality that the hopeful elect are going to have, you know, when, it, when they're presented with these situations. You know, we're going to trust in Yahweh Bashim Rashai, who had made heaven and the earth, you know. And us, you know. Isaiah 10 and 20. And it shall come to pass in that day. What? The last days. That the remnant of Israel, the hopeful elect, the house of David, the innumerable multitude, those who believe in the report, the prophets, you know. And such as are escaped out of the house of Jacob. Escape out of what? Jacob's trouble. You know. Shall no more stay upon him that smote them. Esau, Edom. You know, the so-called white man and, and, and his um, bait, his pseudo salvation, you know, his his traps, his snares, you know. But stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. And that's who we're going to depend on, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Since I was in Psalms, let's get Psalms 91 real quick. Psalms 91. And it reads... <clears throat> Yep. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. You know, and when we're presented with these opportunities, you know, as far as left handed opportunities, left handed suit of salvation, we're going to stay upon the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shai because the, the Lord has the angels surrounding us, you know, to keep us protected and to keep us in the spirit in these times, man. Lord's will we be at that number. And Lord, uh, Lord's will, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai keeps us in the fight, man. You know, but the elect, they're not going to bow down, you know, to the image of all and take this crap, nor any of this public assistance, man. You know, so uh, Lord's will, you found this lesson edifying. I'm going to close on that right here. You know, once again, the, the gins, the traps, the snares are being laid out, the bait, you know, for Jake, you know, and the whole for the elect, we're not going to fall for this, man, you know, because we know what this leads to. So we'll close on that right here. And in closing, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakudash. Double honors unto the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Shalom, Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the whole for the elect and the hearty Shalom to the sincere brethren doing the work in truth and sincerity. Spread across the four winds of the earth, given diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, shalom. And so next time, next lesson, shalom, GTA, wa, ababa, ba. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Shalom.